How to Prophesy by the Holy Spirit A Biblical Approach to Receive Messages Given by God To Prophesy The one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. Nowadays, many churches refuse to allow their members to prophesy except clerics who dispense monologue sermons. However, the ancient biblical prophets predicted that a time would come when all believers would be able to prophesy. And it shall come to pass afterwards, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female servants, in those days I will pour out my Spirit. Following the coming, the death and the resurrection of the Messiah Jesus, God poured out His Holy Spirit upon all believers, including Gentiles. Therefore all may prophesy. Pursue love, and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. You can all prophesy one by one, so that all may learn and all be encouraged. Seven Points of Counsel for Those Who Seek to Prophesy 1. Learn and follow New Testament guidelines for those who prophesy. If anyone thinks that he is a prophet, or spiritual, he should acknowledge that the things I am writing to you are a command of the Lord. 2. Quietly confess to God your recent sins, claiming Jesus' blood that purifies from all sin. Jesus Christ the righteous is the propitiation for our sins. 3. Remain silent before God for a moment. My brothers, earnestly desire to prophesy. But all things should be done decently and in order. 4. Listen for a thought or for an image that seems out of the ordinary. If a revelation is made to another sitting there. 5. Discern whether you should keep that revelation secret or speak it. The one who prophesies builds up the church. 6. Let others choose what to do about your prophetic utterance. Let the others weigh what is said. 7. Start a prophetic ministry by pronouncing prayers and blessings over others. I will pray with my mind, giving thanks. When, where and with whom should we seek to prophesy? in cell groups and in house churches, for applications when teaching or preaching, when counseling those who have problems, whilst explaining the good news to lost folk, in coaching sessions with church planters, when praying alone to God. Six warnings for those who start to prophesy. If you have not received God's Holy Spirit, then you could prophesy lies. Prophetic messages carry no divine authority or infallibility. Your prophetic teaching must always be informed by the Holy Bible. In some churches, your prophetic utterances will get you shunned. Avoid pronouncing curses and condemnations, for these come from the devil. Do not make public predictions of calamities or of political outcomes before you have established a long history of accurate predictions. <laughs>